It's a very complex world out there and customers are facing very complex problems. Some companies think that business design equals business model design, but it's not just that. Yeah, essentially, business design is about uh, solving business problems with design methods and also bringing the customer insight into strategic decision making. I think many organizations think about business design and why we need this, because we already have financial guys here, we have the designers here, but actually the idea is to bring in tools and ways for those people to work together so that those two sides are balanced. Business environments are highly complex, so we want to help those managers in different levels of the organization to understand what their customers are, are dealing with, what their stakeholders are dealing with, and also we bring the employees' understanding and knowledge to the table. So there's the business approach that is more familiar to traditional management consultancy, and then we have the design approach that looks at the customers and is more customer-centric. So, for example, at the case of a kids' hospital, we first thought of the customer experience for the kids, but then at the same time, we started to think about the monetary benefits for the hospital, meaning that if there's a shorter time for the examination, how many more patients we can have in the examination and save money. We don't just think about these theoretical concepts and models, but we actually understand the customers and try to develop business based on that knowledge. At go for we have a set of highly skilled experts in management consultancy, designers and research. So I think these three approaches are actually a good fit to have a holistic understanding of what the business needs. Organizations that are really good at utilizing business design, they don't even think about it that much. I can't think of a business that wouldn't benefit from using a business design approach. <laughs>